Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. It's time for a dimensional duel. Jaden soon learned that the possessed Marcel was after the legendary Sacred Beast cards all along. I thought we dealt with those. Yeah, they kind of come back. Uh, Jaden desperately attempted to prevent Marcel from raising the beast. Meanwhile, Maximilian Pegasus found the Rainbow Dragon card. Since his power could help everyone return to Earth, Pegasus needed to create an interdimensional portal to send the card to another dimension. However, he could only create the portal if he had access to immense amounts of dual energy, but who could generate that much energy? Zane and Jesse were chosen to duel. You ready? This is supposed to be Dark Zane by now. He's supposed to have his whole dark, huge, dark cloak get up on, I guess. Uh, this game is just skipping that entire segment. More than ever. That was not Jesse's voice at all. Then let's do this. Oh yeah, get your game on! Oh, that's a little bit better. Ah, uh, scissors, cuts paper. Ah, uh, yeah, Jesse will go first. We get to play the Crystal Beasts. I... I'm a huge fan of the Crystal Beast theme. They're pretty unique with uh, what they do. And pretty strong too. It just requires quite a lot of board presence. Crystal Abundance. Here's a card. How do I show this? Okay. Uh, yeah, send four Crystal Beasts from your spell and traps out to the graveyard. And then send all cards on the field to the graveyard. Then special summon as many Crystal Beast monsters as possible from your graveyard up to the number of cards your opponent controlled that were sent to the graveyard by this effect. So yeah, it's a complete board wipe restock of your stuff. Um, select one Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Oh, I like that. If your opponent had an active field spell when this card was activated, they can draw a card. Uh, we're going to use that to get our Rainbow Ruins. And we'll set Emerald Tortoise. We probably want to set the eagle so it can die. Well, then again, we're playing against Zane, so he can just throw a cyber dragon out there and it'll die anyways. Or it's a cyber phoenix. Well, let's go get us rainbow ruins, because uh, I just realized we're dueling Zane. And we're going to need all of the backup we can get to deal with this. Ooh, Amber Mammoth. Uh, let's face up. Da, da, da. Let's just go with the Cobalt Eagle. His effect isn't spectacular. Then again, a lot of them aren't. Uh, Ruby's if Ruby Carbuncle's effect is interesting. If it's special summoned. You can special summon as many crystal beasts as possible from your spell and trap zone. And if it's face up, well, man, the crystal beasts are face up when they're destroyed. You, they go to their spell and trap zone. Uh, we do need more. I should show off what this field spell does. Um, we're going to show off what... You're not going to attack. Okay. So, Rainbow Ruins. Uh, it's effects stacks. So, uh, if, it, if there's one Crystal Beast in my Spell and Trap card zone, uh, Rainbow Ruins can't be destroyed by card effects. If there's two, once per turn I can have the battle damage I take. Uh, during either player's turn, when a Spell or Trap is activated, I can send one Crystal Beast monster I control to the graveyard, negate the activation, and destroy it. And for four... Crystal Beast and Spell and Trap Zone, I get to draw an extra card per turn. That's silly. And with five, you can special summon a Crystal Beast from your Spell and Trap Zone. Like I said, really silly. What's that Infernal Dragon doing? If he attacks, it's destroyed and sends the graveyard during the end phase. Uh, let's destroy. You can special summon this card by drawing. That's that's just plain annoying. Well fine, we'll summon the Amber Mammoth. It's Cobalt Eagle's effect. There's my monster to the top of the deck if this 
Why do I want to put a Crystal Beast on the top of my deck? Oh, that's... A Cobalt Eagle, the Emerald Tortoise, those aren't really the good ones. In fact, typically a uh, Crystal Beast deck wouldn't even play Rainbow Dragon because it would require you to uh, play some of the worse -er Crystal Beasts. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna put them in the Spell Trap Zone. So we have two in there now. And the Infernal Dragon's back, that's fine. Ooh. Dark Hole. I don't know that I want to use Dark Hole like that. Yeah, I could wipe the field, but put all of the monst all of the monsters in my spell and trap zone, draw extra cards, and have a good old time. Yeah, one thing I don't like about Crystal Abundance is how it's going to uh It's going to kill our own Rainbow Ruins. Because it sends all cards from the field to the grave. It doesn't even destroy them, just sends them. Okay, so I can't do anything yet. What's this thing do? Crystal Pair. Uh, place one crispy monster from your deck face up. Then you take no battle damage for the rest of the turn. Huh. Okay. Well, you don't have much attack, but you know what? We can have the damage anyways. I love Crystal Beasts. Oh yeah, Cyber Dark Keel. Bring it on. Yep, we're gonna use Rainbow Runes, we're gonna have the damage. And we're gonna use the effect of Emerald Tortoise. And we're gonna use the effect of, uh... We're not going to use the effect of that. Okay, if you want to attribute your keel to keep bringing that thing back. That's kind of the only annoying part, though, is I can't... I can't seem to kill that thing. I thought I was going to be able to activate that trap, the crystal pair. Otherwise, I would not have done that. I can special summon the monster. I'm going to draw a card first. Ooh, Sapphire Pegasus. That's a good one. Um. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, I can't do that because I don't have five yet. Uh, Topaz Tiger. It gets 400 attack during the damage step only, so we can kill that Infernal Dragon for good. And I can't even put another... Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have set that trap. Oh, of course, you have another Infernal Dragon. Why not? Swift Scarecrow. Oh, that's... not productive. Can't play either of those. Uh, I guess, well, let's try drawing another card. Amber Mammoth, that doesn't help me either. Yeah, now it's going to be hard to get a uh, Crystal Beast out of our... Spell and Trap Zone, because we can't play another Spell or Trap. I done screwed this up. I screwed this up really bad. Amethyst Cat. It can attack directly. By having its attack. So there's that. Uh, but another 
Yes. We're gonna negate polymerization. We're not doing that. <laughs> oh, there's a cyber dragon. That's gonna be annoying to deal with. Well, we can have the uh, damage we take. Crystal release. That'd be a great card if we could play it. I don't suppose we're gonna draw a uh, Haman Lord of Striking Thunder. Yeah, we'll get rid of Crystal Abundance. Space Typhoon. Thank you. That's what I wanted you to do. Uh, use ancient city rainbow runes? No, I shouldn't be taking damage. Well, okay, I did take damage from that, but we're gonna do that. We'll use rainbow ruins. Why do I have multiple dark holes? That seems silly. Well, we'll draw a card. Oh, hey, it's Rainbow Dragon. Uh, we must have seven different crystal beasts with different names on the field or in the graveyard. Okay. Which apparently we don't have quite that many yet. Uh, oh yeah, we need Sapphire Pegasus. So we'll special summon one monster. We'll get him. Let's see. could play Crystal Abundance. I don't want to play Crystal Abundance. I'll play Dark Hole. We might actually be able to win this turn. Don't need to put... Ah, uh, no, we're gonna be a little bit short. We're gonna activate the effect of Sapphire Pegasus. Which Crystal Beast don't we have yet? I think we have them all somewhere now. Now that we have the Sapphire Pegasus, which is the best one. So we'll put another Sapphire Pegasus in our uh, zone. And then we can just special summon this thing for free, because we have all seven of the Crystal Beasts. Yeah, uh, you could run a Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, the Sacred Beast card, and since these Crystal Beasts down here count as continuous spells, uh, you can tribute three of those to bring out the Haman. What effect could I activate when my opponent drew a card? Now what does this thing do? Uh, during either player's turn, you can send all Crystal Beast monsters you control. No. You can banish all Crystal Beast monsters in your graveyard, shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. He's better as just a 4,000 attack beat stick, quite frankly. Cyber Dark Impact. Hey, guess what? I can negate that. Because that's not absurd at all. No, I can't negate that one. Oh, that's bad. Because now he's got Cyber Dark Dragon. Which, despite all of that power, he still can't beat me. Alright, well, let's draw an extra card. Ooh, rare value. That lets us sacrifice a uh, crystal beast in our spell and trap zone to 
draw an extra, draw two cards, rather. I'm not going to use Sapphire Pegasus. Uh, crystal Beacon. Special summon a Crystal Beast monster from your deck. You must have two or more. Well, we have that, so we might as well do that. And uh, let's still oh, Amethyst Cat. We can kill him with the cat. Yeah, this is just beyond overkill at this point. Let's finish this off. Uh, you know what? I do want to kill that thing, just for the sake of killing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a bunch of stuff happened there. Oh, stop asking me that. Alright, time to give him Cat Scratch Fever. Ta-da! Uh, Jesse and Zane were able to create enough energy to wind the interdimensional portal for the Rainbow Dragon card, which I was already able to use in that duel. Well played, Jesse! The Rainbow Dragon card! Ah! Uh, next we'll be unleashing the dragon. Okay. <laughs>